We are very close to the end of our journey through multivariable calculus, and it's time to look back, to reflect, to think about a new view of calculus based on something called fields. Now, what's a field? Well, we'll talk about that. Fields are structures that associate certain objects to locations in space. And calculus is going to analyze the local and global structure of these objects. Now, you've seen fields before in the context of gradients, where we looked at scalar fields, and we've looked at vector fields. But we're going to take it to a different level. One of the things we're going to look at is flows, flows that are related to vector fields and are used to model fluids and other phenomena that change. We're going to see something called form fields. Now, what's a form? Well, you're going to see. We'll talk about that pretty extensively. Our first goal is going to be to rethink calculus for fields in the, the simple context of scalar fields, vector fields, and then move on to form fields. Now, there's going to be some algebra involved. Lots of algebra. But it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. There's going to be some nice geometry involved as well. One of the things we're going to see is derivatives. We're going to learn new interpretations of derivatives of fields, things like curl, things like divergence. Now, we're also going to learn how to do integration with fields as well. We're going to integrate fields over paths, surfaces, other things as well. And that is going to lead us to our big goal, a triple of fundamental theorems that allow us to work with fields in 2D and 3D. Now, these theorems are really big. They're really awesome. They are Green's theorem in 2D, and then Stokes' theorem and Gauss's theorem in 3D. Now, they look a little complicated. They are a little complicated, but in the end, everything that we have learned in multivariable calculus is going to converge into one elegant fundamental theorem. This theorem is our true goal. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, so what? Why all this trouble with form fields? Oh, we're going to see some very nice applications. Some of the applications are going to be pretty classical, things like computing work along a path done by a vector field, or looking at the flux of a vector field across a surface. That's the basics, but we're also going to see some more advanced or modern applications. We're going to take a look at fluid dynamics and use derivatives of form fields to describe the motion of ideal fluids. Form fields are going to make all of electromagnetics, incredibly elegant and simple. Totally simple. No, not really. I'm kind of lying. But it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to see uses of forms in data science, computing geometry based on data points. And this is pretty useful in things like medical imaging. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to see some really new applications of forms and calculus to time series in arbitrary dimensions. And that's going to be really sweet. Now, all of this is going to be a lot of calculus, and it's going to be a lot of work and flux. And it's also going to be a lot of fun. There is so much more for us to learn in this last volume.